Things are clear and coming from trusted medical agencies. If you get COVID, don't take a drug traditionally used to treat parasitic infections. But there is a legal and safe way to get access to ivermectin as a possible virus treatment. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us live with more on this this morning because Aaron, right now several studies are actually going on to find out what drugs can actually help with treating COVID. Yeah, Ben, and ivermectin is one of them, and there are government-funded clinical trials, and they're trying to find out what can help people with COVID to ease their symptoms. So ivermectin is just one drug that these clinical trials are using. They're also potentially using antidepressants to see if that would help in that, and also a drug that helps with asthma and COPD as well. That's a, stereo, a steroid inhaler that they're using as well. So ivermectin has gained the most attention, though, recently because some are getting doses meant for large animals from farm supply companies. Now, the FDA reported people showing up in hospitals with serious side effects after taking the animal version. Now, in the human trial, safety is the top priority. So in this trial, they're actually dosing the medication based on the patient's weight and using a low dosing based on the desired drug concentration that needs to treat the infection. We have done laboratory studies that have shown that it has some antiviral effect is against SARS-CoV-2 and other viruses, but we don't know if that lab effect will translate into humans. And so we wanna do the active study to scientifically test um, whether ivermectin does benefit patients with COVID. So right now they're looking for adults who do have COVID to join these trials and see if ivermectin would work on you. Right now they've had hundreds of people of sign up and they have about 40 or so clinical trials going on, but they're planning to expand that to about 200 plus clinical trials. So if you're interested in signing up to be a part of the study, we have a link posted over on newschannel5.com. I'll send it back to you all.